welcome back to my channel you guys i know it's been a while um since i've posted but not i promise you not a second was waste wasted um let me just see if i did it All right, so let's get into this full moon Scorpio reading. Um, this is going to be a pre uh, omen shadow, whatever of the no changes that are coming because it's going to be Scorpio sword. So those eclipses are about to start. So I'll get prepared. South note and Scorpio. Oh my gosh, the can you just feel the death like not like in a bad way like the the transformation because death is not bad and we're transitioning this is a transitional phase period or whatever okay so um i know my voice is kind of soft so you know just being mindful I saw but um thank you thank you thank you to all of you who tuned in who stay tuning in things of that nature um this has been a long road a long time coming for me excuse me <laughs> um like so much has happened and i think it's cool but uh <laughs> so with this full moon Scorpio opposing the Taurus sun, um, this is going to be happening um, today. The moon is in Leo, no Virgo. Um, it's halfway through its transit through Virgo. So then we got Libra and then Scorpio. Now, right now, during the Virgo, uh, we had an Earth trine on Earth Day. Um, the moon is still going to trine over to Pluto. Um, um, it's already or going through its opposition to Neptune, which is the furthest it's been in our lifetime um, as a collective. So this is very cool, spiritually speaking. Um, we get to really look past all of our... Um, hold on one second. Okay, we actually get to look past um, all of the unconscious, subconscious things and really get to know them or understand them on a deeper level than we've ever been able to do as a collective. Um, because a lot of people who were very good at seeing the pure spiritual aspects of life were put into loony bins said to have been crazy needed medication um killed um intentionally so we are advocating for mental health nowadays because there is a underlying truth that many try to cover up or essentially ignore that cannot be ignored anymore actually it's you know it's coming to everyone's front door or really the news <laughs> knocking on your screen telling you hey it's it's happening it's it's now um mars has entered cancer today so the full moon energy will be trying mars in cancer so what i got from that meditation was that um the more pure initiation of love that you create with yourself the more you call in your protective armor your gear and i see it as like you know learning to love yourself as a mother would unconditionally no matter what happens no matter what changes you go through you'll always be loved for exactly existing being that's it that's that's all it requires and that's just making sure you're in alignment with the overall energy of what it means to be one with the universe and the all that's basically all that means so oh, and then i see <laughs> this car pops out we're gonna get into it but 
and that's basically what it is the more you can push yourself in a frequency where you are in divine alignment with the all in that serene stable place where you just float you're just floating through space you're sitting through time it calls your protection to you like iron man calls you know you put all the pieces together so um let's get into the spread so i'm using the black moon astrology cards deck um right here susan shepherd um, and I'm going to clarify with the after tarot deck. Um, but the first position is the Jupiter. It is how it was laid out. Ooh, seventh house partnerships. Um, now, this is for the moon, the full moon Scorpio. But getting into the moon in Libra, that is going to air trying with Ju uh, Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius. And then the North Node in Gemini. Um, we are definitely looking at with this warship going on. Um, it's war. Mars. It's different. We're going to a different phase of the war, which is initiation, cancer, an initiative sign, the crab, whatever. Um, the analogy they try to use to explain the energy of cancer. Um, lunar energy, paying more attention to the moon, moods. Um, how emotions go up and down in partnerships and relationships. Um, we're going to experience that with the moon transit, the Libra, seventh house energy. And a queen comes us over to Taurus, which is also a ruler, ruled by Venus, which ultimately rules Libra. So we do look at Taurus, the sun, where we're physically putting in the action to um, physically appreciate what's going on with who we are um, unfolding as. And then Libra is air. So with that transit, you've already gone through the emotional ups and downs of what that feels like in a relationship with someone else. And then Scorpio is a time where those emotions are being completely pulled and sucked out for a psychological exam. So, um, and that's the 31 for seventh house partnerships. So with Scorpio squaring Aquarius, um, we have to feel things that maybe we don't want to think about. I say that. Um, but the thing about Aquarius energy is it has the ability to sort through the different ways to know something, to pick up information and utilize it for the greater good of all. And then the challenge with that and the overall goal with Scorpio is to feel it on a deep level so that it kind of like matches the vibration. The frequency matches the, the, the vibration of what you're trying to create towards um, in the physical. So um, the only thing that's not being aspected right now is the Leo energy. And whenever there's a, a T-square... It's always the energy that's missing that you can look out for some type of relief. Um, now, I've said that before plenty of times. I know other people have said it too. Um, J. Cole, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um, people should be able to use your music and you know, whatever, whatever. You know what he was saying. Anyways, moving on. So, um, Scorpio is after Libra. So, we've already examined the parts of us that are being reflected. So now we can get into um, clarifying this. This partnership card. Speaking of Moon and Libra. Yeah, now in this deck, she, there's two, okay, there's two people here and um, her eyes are slightly open actually. I don't know if you can really see or tell. It gets kind of blurry. I'm just her her blinder is kind of slightly open, but they're about to duke it out. This is war, worship. So what side? This Aries card. What side are you on? 
Who are you working with? What are you working with? What are you working for? Saturn is, I mean, yeah, Saturn is in Aquarius, but Uranus is in Taurus right now. So your individual way of creating wealth or generating wealth for yourself is up for discussion, up for you to be examined and looked at with Venus being here, the sun being here, Mercury being here. It will go into shadow Mercury 16 degrees right now with a uh, few away. So we still plan accordingly. Um, but in the moon position, we got the ninth house, faith 33, which is a six. So um, the ninth house is about um, Sag energy, faith, having faith, um, being able to see and feel, see and oops, see and feel your way through the dark after Scorpio before you get to Capricorn, um, Sagittarius. So what are we putting our faith in? What are we? investing in what are we connecting ourselves to scorpio is the house of marriage and pluto as well as, well as mars but there is a complete transformation that has to happen um and that's you making a decision on who you're going to be with look you see here like this you got to make a decision now this doesn't have to be your life necessarily this is just an, uh, an example of how the energy simply is and the moon of scorpio is you finally fessing up and telling the truth about who you are loyal to what are you truly connected to scorpio so that the physical can see what it is that you value and what type of moral system or code you live by taurus and have faith that regardless of if anybody really feels that they should put their investment into that you are putting your investment into that you are choosing to do that you are choosing to manifest that and that's the only faith that you need is the one that you're supposed to have in yourself so let's clarify this real quick ninth house faith and it says 33 which is a master number um So we have some more Sag, <laughs> Eight of Wands. So something manifests very quickly because you choose to, again, believe in yourself, have faith, all that good stuff. So um, it's coming already. So now you know where to aim, shoot, fire. Speaking of fire, <laughs> Aries, I am, uh, which is a 13, which funny 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 these are opposite energies the first house and the seventh house these two people here one animal here okay this is a 31 this is a 13 you, you see how oppositions work we got chiron and aries um right now healing you know our ego wounds that we all have the what part of your ego has a wound that will be and that will always be a wound but with time square capricorn you learn to make it a tool make it useful make it make you money basically it brings stability to your life it brings balance with you know of course opposition libra but in that balance there is justice in the reality saturn and libra exalts it um okay so let's get into this aries i am this is what we're working on this card is in the saturn position aries i am so we're working hard to uncover all that i am and we not talking about army and navy shit okay we definitely not doing that but but again there is a warship uh martians um i'm pretty sure that planet feels the type of way about some object flying over there <laughs> in their vicinity and um the people who are doing that over here that's like sending a drone over to your neighbor's backyard and looking at it and seeing what's over there and if you should go that's kind of how i feel about that um good or bad indifferent don't really matter <laughs> 
All right, so um, what do we get out of working on our iron? Ooh, Knight of Swords. Look at this. Now, I just wanted to flip over too, so I'm gonna just grab it. But here we got the Knight of Swords here. So to me, this looks like he's defending what he has. You're defending yourself. You're defending your faith and what you believe is meant and destined for you and your greatest good. And we got the three of pentacles again. So um, in the first card, um, the first portion, they're working as a team together to create this. And then in the after tarot, the work is done and he's coming back to take a gander at it. Like you did something that had to do with your, your identity, your physical identity, your, um, I don't want to say ego. I don't want to attach too much to the ego, but you took a look at your physical body or your head strong about what you automatically intuitive know, intuitively know on your first reaction, you know, how to do this and be proud of it. Protect yourself. That's what basically what I'm getting from this is to protect yourself during this uh, full moon in Scorpio. Um, that's basically what the overall theme I'm kind of picking up here is because number one, we're expanding in what we know about relationships and how we choose to relate with others in the world. And what is being demystified is what we truly have or have faith in and how we are directing that faith works that we're doing and when you do things according to what's right for you you automatically are protecting yourself integrity okay and at the bottom we got the hermit so we're taking full control of our energy number one spirit is there number two and protecting us as we use our light to you know use that kundalini energy to be directed in the way that is the most efficient way the way that we had known by facts to be true okay so last but not least we got the 10th house the world which is a 34 so all these cards have the number three in it <laughs> magic right the world card so things are coming to a uh, completion here now i feel like this too is a lot of things are being uncovered that has to do with how we exist in the world and you know solar system even earth by itself things are being told and shared right now with us in a way that hasn't been done before in this civilization and many of us are starting to take notice of you know who's on your team what do you believe in and what are you uh, what's stabilizing you because when the full disclosure or the full info comes out about what it is that you truly um, have been a part of or what you've been raised to believe and do and how you've been programmed and how being unlearning or unprogrammed actually allows you to see it from a detached point of view because you need to detach from it because you're not going to use lies to promote yourself right right you gotta have some type of integrity authenticity when you're picking people who is going to be on your team so when the world is sitting here revealing itself unto itself when the truth comes out who's going to be a part of your world still what will be a part of your world still because this is a world i am a world within the world okay and then worlds come through me because I'm a portal, I'm a woman. I've had two worlds come through me. Yeah, represent, okay? What will you be known for? Even if what comes out, Scorpio is secrets. Even when something comes out that completely changes how you are viewed by others and how you, Aquarius, and how you view yourself within other people 
what are you still going to choose to believe who you are in the world are you going to believe what someone told you you had to believe yourself to be or are you going to believe yourself to be whoever you say you are and you, that's how you show up in okay 10 house 34 which is a seven so definitely separating ourselves from the rest of the world i was thinking the uh oh it's a queen i was thinking of the scripture that says how you know she said we are no part of we are no part of the world i'm no part of this world i am my own world i am a world within the world i am a space within the space and my space is my space and i own my space and no one has access to that so queen of pentacles here goes fairly well with this um what i did notice in all of it, all of these is something they're holding something in their hand except for her but you know they got something in their hand he's holding something in his hand they're both holding something in their hands and then she's holding the pinnacle in her hand so we're all holding something very tangible whether it's money time capricorn time um or some type of influence that can create something physical um, we are all holding something that needs to be released during this full moon of scorpio that will help us transcend the psychology that was once pushed on us that we no longer have to identify with as a group of people or as a person within this type of a group um, because it is aquarius going in this energy and we find more value within ourselves, Taurus, and then we see that value increase in the world around us, Scorpio. Now, at the bottom of this read, we have fifth house creativity. This is the only thing that's not being aspected. The fifth house creativity, Leo energy. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Who dog? Who you picking? Who's gonna be your main squeeze this summer? Like, what job are you picking? What career are you gonna choose? What lifestyle are you gonna live? What do you have faith in? Do you have faith in you reuniting with the you you always knew you to be? Even if it show up as a reflection in someone else? Are you gonna give that up? Or are you gonna defend it? Because you know you put a lot of time and effort into this you both did or you you all did you put a lot of time and effort into this because it's who you are it's a part of your makeup your dna activation process you know um with a snake that was an epic and spirit i mean this is a rabbit spirit is here spirit is still here so yeah taurus baby taurus season What do you want to pick for crops later on in this year? Make this plant seeds new moon and Taurus of what you want to pick come full moon Taurus in October, November. And this is the, you know, North Node, South Node. We're going to go into the full moon, new moon, solar eclipses. This is what we're going to be getting into. So right now, be very uh, decisive about what it is you create about what it is you create and will what you are willing into existence because sweetie <laughs> the opportunity is here oh snap Ooh. tower moment ten of pentacles <sighs> don't give up the only thing you need to be pouring out cancer card Mars through this Mars and Cancer trying to say the only thing you need to be getting rid of is emotions you don't want to keep refilling over and over again because it's not getting you anywhere. Okay, and that's my reading for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I am doing personal astrology readings. So if you would like um, a natal chart, we can look at business, relationship, personal growth um, for, you know, an hour each um all that information is available on my website which is in the link in the description of this video or just my channel in general um you can find that 
um i love doing astrology readings they're pretty cool you know what i'm saying so um if you are looking to um get a monthly forecast for your personal astrology um again available in the description box <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, and enjoy this full moon in Scorpio. Trust me, it's going to be a pain as well as a deep, deep, deep pleasure. Peace.